good morning yeah I'm doing this again <laughs> two hands firmly on my steering wheel using Bluetooth and not lifting my hands so don't worry people this is safe and it is legal but I had to come online just to share a little thought I had and just thinking just you know giving time to God as I drive to, to work um, I'm thinking today and I'm thanking God for having created me and then having called me because it says in the Bible that we no man can come to God unless God calls him to himself and that we are chosen and I was just thanking God for that I was just like thank you for creating me I mean how many out of you out there have ever said in their life insulted themselves put themselves down hated on themselves I mean we do it too much and for the silliest reasons honestly and it's not about impatience or just frustration it really is about culture and how and how we're intolerant towards ourselves and sometimes towards others and I was just thinking to myself and praying to God and thanking Him for having created me and chosen me. And then I realized I got to know Him personally. I got to have, a, I get to have a relationship with Him. And then I'm starting to, re and then I realize not only that, but not many people can boast of that. There are a lot of people who know Jesus they don't know him. There are a lot of people who know of God, but they have no idea who he is. Our job, us, who know Jesus, who have a relationship with this beautiful man, this beautiful God, this beautiful Savior and King, it is up to us to keep spreading the word in your words in your actions in your reactions not always easy I know we are the ones who want the lottery we want the ultimate lottery we have a relationship we know God every day is about Jesus every day it's about relationship it's about hope it's about forgiveness every day it's not there's not one thing in our lives no matter what it looks like that can't have hope because we know Jesus we won the lottery we have it all because called us to him and yet even while we were still sinners he died on that cross for our sins because he wanted you he wanted to make a way and he wanted to ensure and assure you that you are saved and that relationship you have with him that deep knowing of who he is and every day discovering something new just makes you want to please him walk in his ways and wanted or not exposed to our sin it i understand the song that says a wretched sinner that i am because no matter how much we're going to try we can leave this world, we can leave its ways, but our hearts will always be wretched. And we won't come into the fullness of our salvation until we are home. But wow, we don't have to hope in anything else. We want the lottery. We get to go home. We know our God. He knows us by name. <laughs> he knows the number of hairs on your head. If you don't have any, it's okay. He still 
and nosy. <laughs> I had a friend that told me that. I don't have any. Okay. <laughs> but you know what? That's just what I wanted to share this morning. How amazingly, I mean, the world would say you are so lucky. You want that? Yeah. I want God. Jesus himself is revealing himself to you because on that cross he said I want him I want her with me now walk out that walk it out walk it out walk it out you gotta make it worth your while he'll walk it out with you he'll walk away from pornography with you he'll walk away from alcohol and drugs with you he'll walk away from fornication with you he will walk through that storm because there always is a storm when you walk away from Satan he don't leave quietly he doesn't but praise God when that dawn comes and it will oh my goodness you will wake up in victory because you know your Lord and he knows you he leads you through the storm right to victory right to where that sunshine is Oh, the lessons I've learned and the, the discipline that has been developed, not of my own, but God gave, gave us, gives us all training, <laughs> all of us, and what we develop in character becomes something that we can present as a crown in front of Him and say, this is for your glory. I want a lot of crowns. I want a lot of them because I want to know that I did good by him. And that's what I'm going to be giving back to him. And that's 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 where I understood the saying that Jewish people have. They say life is a gift and what you do with it is the gift you give back. And we're going to get crowns for that. Those crowns, they're thrown at his feet because it is the glory. It is what reflects the glory in his, our, his glory in our lives. That's how we obtain those crowns. How many crowns do I have? I don't know. How many crowns do you have? But I know I want a lot of them. Because they do matter now. I used to say they didn't matter, but they do. I understand that they do. Because it's a reflection of his work in your life. Wow. We really want the lottery. We really did. We're headed home, folks. You see it happening all around. And the more it happens, the more determined I am to pray. The more determined I am to speak of God. The more determined I am to say the truth. And I don't keep it down. The more determined I am to, to just keep forging forward. I'm to the last second. And I hope... I pray and I, I encourage you to be the same. I Past are the days of what about me? Past are the days of I'm, I'm, I can't do this anymore. I just want to stop. And it, it, there are days that my heart just drags on the floor from weariness. But I get back up because this, I keep saying to myself, this is not about how you're feeling. This is not about what you have. This is not about if it's fair or not. It's about keep going. Don't let the devil steal your joy. Don't let the devil stick your light under anything. Don't, don't let him do it. You get up and you praise God. And you just, whatever, whatever helps you get back up and praise Him. Whatever. Praise God because I won the lottery. I'm going home soon. Praise God because you created heaven and earth. And I get to see this tree in front of my house every day. It's not gone yet and they're burning them all down. But you kept this tree in front of my home. They can burn it all down. They can strip from me truth in their minds. They can think that what my truth is lie and hate, but it is love. I'm saving you from hell. I 
that God loves each and every creation he made. That means he loves humanity. He died for all, 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 so that all may come to him. Everybody. And the devil's a liar, so he's going to twist and turn how you were created, for what purpose you were created. He's going to defile and destroy and in and and offend children. You know you're low and you're losing when you got to go after the weakest and the most innocent. Huh? But praise God. Praise God that he will judge the wicked and there will be an end to this. So guys, again, give him praise because you won the lottery. You are the rare one. We are far and few, we are few and far apart who truly have a relationship and love God with all our hearts. That's a reason to praise him today. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.